Welcome everyone. The Army TV crew is embedded with Western Air Command. Today we're covering one of the most advanced air defense missile systems in service, the German-built Iris-T. It's helping our guys knock down Russian aerial threats. After training, I was assigned to the book system and served there. When the full-scale invasion hit, we were already battle-ready. That morning, first minute, we met the enemy. My first engagement came on day two, near Hostomol airfield. Our crew got its first target there, a Russian helicopter. It was close to midnight when we launched the mission. Reports came in of enemy bombing our defenses. We moved, locked a target, launched, and destroyed it. The night sky lit up. Nearby security personnel confirmed. We got it. We saw the explosion, burning wreckage falling. Our ground troops sent us a nice job, thank you. I decided then to push forward and learn something new. What's behind us? What kind of system is this? That's the German Iris-T air defense missile system. It functions much like the book. Capable of taking down strike drones, cruise missiles, helicopters, and enemy aircraft. Built completely differently. New structure, new tactics. Its radar can spot targets up to 250 kilometers. Engagement range varies by missile from 8 to 40 kilometers. It comes with two launchers, the SLM and the SLS. SLM is the big launcher, built to destroy cruise missiles. SLS is a smaller launcher with cheaper missiles for striking enemy attack drones. And they fire missiles too, right? Yep, they sure do. Can one salvo take out two or even three missiles? It happened in my crew, likely a fluke. The debris from taking down one cruise missile hit another flying right beside it. In my system, we've got a 99% success rate on aerial targets. We've shot down Caliber and KH-101 cruise missiles, their first appearance over us, and we destroyed them all. On the radar screen, the target blip is moving, and then poof, it disappears after the hit. We see the ammo explode and technically lose the track, but mission confirmed. Target destroyed in air. My job is to get the vehicle and launcher to firing positions. The chassis is military grade, not civilian. It's got a heavy duty inline six engine like a semi truck tuned for this rig. The automatic transmission's beefed up too. It hauls well. 625 horsepower total. While your commander is not here, spill the truth, how fast have you pushed it? We hit 90 kilometers per hour. That's the limit set in the system. Fuel use? On road, it uses 46 to 47 liters per 100 kilometers. Off road, 120 liters per 100 kilometers. 
Fuel tank holds 400 liters. Cab has a heater for winter and AC for summer. I keep the system combat ready. I manage deployment, control links, and system checks. From parking to ready to fire takes 10 minutes. We park, load the program, and get it combat ready. First launch was tense. Hadn't seen what it could do. We shot down a KH-101 cruise missile. This one launcher has taken out over 30 targets. Each white mark is a confirmed target after an engagement. That's our cruise scoreboard. The system has a radar station and fire control cabin. We're in the command post now. The crew operates from here. Operators launch missiles here. Launch buttons. Fire and override to re-engage. We took down 15 cruise missiles in one fight. How long is an air battle? Sometimes just two minutes. A wave of missiles can hit our sector fast. The key is to stay calm. A SAM operator must stay cool and confident. Spot the target, lock on, destroy it. Then confirm the target and know you protected lives or infrastructure. Now Oleksandr walks us through how Iris-T downed eight cruise missiles in 30 seconds. Iris TSLM has outstanding fire performance. This launcher shows its tally. Over 30 confirmed targets. The gaps you see show combat ops. One op equals two targets, next op equals three, and so on. Our biggest was eight KH-101 and caliber missiles in one go. 30 seconds, eight cruise missiles down. They entered the zone. 30 seconds later we were empty and they were gone. We're defending our skies together until victory. We already have videos on our channel about different air defense systems. Be sure to check them out if you haven't seen them yet. And if you want others to see this video, please like it. It really helps with promotion. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss new stories. Do you want an episode about NASAMS, Patriot, or even the old OSA? Drop your pick in the comments.